Ayodhya case. Well, today, earlier in the day, the Delhi High Court rejected the anticipatory bail plea of P. Chidambaram. The Supreme Court, he may now approach the Supreme Court tomorrow morning. In the meantime, we've had ED and CBI officials uh, supposedly looking out for him and uh, looking for him, but uh, they haven't been able to get in touch with them. Now, I have Abhishek Manu Singhvi, uh, Senior Congress Leader and a Senior Advocate on the phone line with us. Mr. Manu Singhvi, thank you for speaking with us. Can you tell us, uh, you know, uh, what the plan of action is after the Delhi High Court rejected his bail plea? Since I'm catching a flight, you need to record this quickly. Mr. Chidambaram was called all of one time by the CBI, 6th of June 18. Mr. Chidambaram is not a flight risk, so there should be no question of arrest between now and tomorrow. The rejection of his deferment request by the High Court came today at 4 o'clock. Obviously, the Supreme Court was closed by the time he reached there. So the court has said, look, come tomorrow to the senior most judge. I don't think that can be called a rejection. Hmm. Uh, when Mr. Chidambaram is accused of upholding and endorsing a decision in 0708 of a FIPV comprising five Government of India secretaries, one of whom, Subha Rao, became a RBI governor, I want to understand how it is conceivable that Chidambaram did this because of this by Karthi and also all the other five persons were so influenced by Karthi that five secretaries of the government of India did so. There are huge gaping holes. There is not, not only no flight risk, but he has with evidence because all the documentary evidence is 0708 old. It's all frozen. Statements of whatever witness, etc. is required has been recorded from 2017 onwards. So it's neither a flight risk nor tampering is possible. Yes. Third is cooperation. You've called him once by the CBI on 6th of June. You've called him 7, 8, 10 times by the ED. Each time he has gone, he has recorded over 50 hours of quizzing. He has never been non-cooperative. But now, Mr. where Singh is the we... question of bail being rejected? I'm sorry. Where is the question that having bail been rejected, he is a prime candidate for imminent arrest between now and tomorrow morning? That is not the concept of arrest. Arrest requires require some imminence of flight risk, of tampering, or of non-cooperation. Okay, but Mr. Singh, we, you say that, but here is the High Court in its order which is said that Chidambaram was evasive, non-cooperative with the agencies, and that prima facie, it appears that Chidambaram is the kingpin of the scam. That's very interesting, because first of all, words like kingpin and lynchpin are adjectives used as allegations. There is no trial, there is no conviction. There is no finding. If the first-year law student knows that orders in a bail have no bearing on the final guilt or innocence, otherwise everybody who is under trial would not be an accused but would be a convict. Secondly, so that's as far as the words lynchpin and kingpin are concerned. Secondly, uh, references to being evasive, there is a very nice, beautiful phrase by a Supreme Court judgment of 2018, Santosh, which says, answering questions in your own way or not agreeing with the prosecution is not being evasive. Confession is not a precondition to cooperation. Mm. So, you have to attend. Suppose I attend and I say I will not answer, even if I say that it's my right of non-self-incrimination. Can you force me to answer? Confession is not the synonym of cooperation. Mm. But while you may not see merit in any action by the EDO CBI as far as an arrest is concerned today, uh, there were officials who went to Mr. Chidambaram's residence in the evening. Absolutely. And we are being Absolutely. told that they are looking for Mr. Chidambaram, but he is missing. Then if, uh, is Mr. Chidambaram evading arrest tonight? See, this is the problem with a certain amount of sensationalism which the agencies try to do. Hmm. You have to judge for yourself whether it's persecution or prosecution. Chidambaram sought my advice in the Supreme Court consultation room till 4.30, 4.45. Thereafter, he came to my official chamber and sought my advice till 6.30. Things were drafted. Thereafter, in settling his own petitions along with lawyers at other lawyers' offices. It's just because I happen to be going out of town that, uh, you know, 
possibly is not sitting in my office. Now, <laughs> to call him an absconder or to say he's like a proclaimed offender for a man who has such roots in society is very unfortunate. Hmm. Yes, the CBI can arrest between today and tomorrow. But do you think that they'll be able to justify not to their political masters, but to the public at large, that here is a man between today and tomorrow, a flight risk, a non-cooperation case, a tampering with witnesses case? Obviously, no.